How are we everyone? So it's been a good Christmas, New Year's is just around the corner and I realised I have not done a dopping video for a long time. So we're going to try out a method that I hear a lot about and have never done before. So this is using hot glue. So the hot glue gun, it's... I mean, I can see how it could work as a concept, but I've never tried it myself and I hate judging something without trying it. So I'm all about the experimentation. So I've got here a new hot glue gun with some hot glue. We'll just chuck it in and we'll test it out on both wood and on metal because I know a lot of people like the wood. If you've got wood in all sorts of different sizes, then you're all good to go. But if you've got issues like arthritis or something and your grip's not that great, you've got a screw that you can glue it onto and like I said, you can screw that into a bigger piece of wood, giving you effectively a massive handle. So it's quite useful. Oh, the hot glue gun's ready. It's a really cheap one and it seems to ooze when I heat, so that's alright. We'll just get rid of the bit that's coming through and we'll quickly get onto this because it is more than good to go. So we'll try out this. This is just a off-cut piece of ironstone. So just get a nice blob of it on there. And attach it as best we can to this piece of metal, which in this case is a screw, and this is not adhering well at all. We might give that a crack with some fresh hot glue, not even needing to press the trigger on this one. Alright, so there's a fair bit on there. We'll try to get this somewhat centered. It's a little bit like wax in the way that you don't need two perfectly flush surfaces to be able to get it to sit. Unlike the super glue and the epoxy where you kind of want... Oh, well, that did nothing. Right, I think what I'll try is to get rid of everything that's dribbling through, maybe it's cooling too much, put a fresh drop of it on here, there we go, nice and hot, straight away with the top, give it a few seconds, alright that's worked a little bit better, so we'll let that one just dry off over here. This one has, yep, not stuck at all. So we'll get rid of the excess old glue. We'll get rid of this oozing old stuff and a fresh bit straight onto the screw head. We'll fill up the entire screw's head and then straight away, no pause, press it on really hard. So that is pretty flush. This is a really flat piece of backing and a really flat screw, so the contact angle should be absolutely perfect between the two. Alright, and there we go. So that one's on. This one's on. Fairly level. You have to do it really quickly, quicker than what you do with super glue or epoxy or wax. You can take your time a bit more with those, but these, it looks like it has to be absolutely fresh, otherwise it's already forming a skin and just not going to make the contact. So we'll leave these sit here for a little bit. I'll turn this thing off because it's still dripping away with hot glue. So a little bit messy, that's all the stuff we're discarding. Plus the uh, failed attempts here. And I'll give it a couple minutes just to make sure it's fully hardened and then I'll be back. An end of year party rages on outside so hopefully I can edit the audio and make it so that you can actually hear me. If not I might have to do this again in the future. But for now we will just push ahead. So I've let these both definitely dry and solidify. I mean hot glue it kind of sets pretty quick but I've given it probably an hour or so so it's definitely not still molten or anything and it should be at its max strength by now so we'll try here first so this is the wood with a bit of boulder ironstone on it nice flat contact so now I'm just going to push and pull in this direction a little bit kind of like the pressure that you would if you were pushing it up against a wheel or pushing down on it with your Dremel it seems to be holding okay 
giving it a bit of a twist now and it's flexing but it hasn't released no I think it is and that didn't take a lot of pressure probably more than what you would if you were using a Dremel but that's probably what you'd push with if you were using it against a set of wheels and you were trying to get through it pretty quick with the sintered diamond so that's yeah that's not great so it's holding on but look at it now it's fully destabilized that's pretty rubbish when you're trying to do something precise so it's come off the wood end first let's see how well it's stuck to the actual yeah nothing really that's not a lot of that's not a lot of hold so that is that is quite disappointing all right well let's see how it goes with metal maybe it's a bit better so giving it a bit of a push down push down wiggle it up and down that's fairly strong give it a twist all right with metal it's actually holding much better oh it has snapped off there but that took a little bit of force not a lot a bit more than what you should when you're applying pressure to it on a cutting wheel or if you're using a dremel it's definitely more than that so it it could possibly hold but i mean it's it's definitely not gripped on it's left no residue which is a plus but i'd rather it held onto the stone than didn't leave residue i don't think that's a huge plus so it's oh nice we've got a nice little mold now of the little screw head so that's that's fun but all in all i've got to say that this method is definitely not one i'm going to use again maybe not ever again it's if it can't just hold a nice flat flush piece of boulder to a fairly large head screw then I'm not overly interested both super glue wax and hot glue I mean super glue wax and epoxy are so much so much better than that and probably just as cheap and easy to get except for the wax which is a bit harder to get but not overly expensive the only good thing that I liked about it was that it was a bit like the wax in a way that you could actually have a bit of an uneven surface and still get a nice nice connection whereas I like the epoxy and super glue to really have a flush connection so I flatten the backs of my stones before dopping them at least just a little bit especially if it's sandy or uneven I like to just get a nice contact but really you should do that with wax as well so yeah this is not this is not a method I would recommend I would give the hot glue about a I don't know a don't use out of 10 it's just not it's just not great and I've heard so many people raving about it so I don't know whether they've got different hot glue or what's going on but a lot of people on Facebook seem to always say whenever anyone asks on the Lapidry pages about dopping they always say that hot glue is what they go with and I just I just can't believe that that's the actual case I don't know if other stones glue better than opal with hot glue but this iron stone is typically fairly easy to glue one of the easier ones and it's not it's not really not really getting a grip at all I mean this one's probably a little bit smooth so that's a bit a bit tough you can see that there are some cutting marks if I can get the light to flash over it see so that's that's still fairly porous there bit of better focus it's still fairly porous and normally wax super glue and epoxy would glue that perfectly rigid on but not hot glue so yeah I don't I don't rate the hot glue had to try it I'll always try whatever people say but I didn't have high hopes for the hot glue in the first place and now I'm just kind of solidifying that idea in my head that the hot glue is not the best so maybe stick to one of the other methods in the playlist there's a whole playlist attached to this so this is just the most recent well at at the time of recording it's the most recent but we'll keep adding to it there's heaps of other glues and stuff that people have said i should try out so i'm going to try them out and hopefully they're a lot better than the hot glue but until i try out another one i'll see you in the next video